What's going on guys, it's Nick, uh, I have a cool pocket to show you, uh, the head came in the other day, the Clutch X Superlight, I showed it off on Instagram, and I've had this uh, 1S mesh from uh, String King that they hooked up with, uh, I've tried some of the other um, 1X, I think it was a long time ago, and I didn't really like it, it felt like it was too, too hard for my taste, uh, I'm more of a wax guy, but they said this stuff was a little bit lighter, so I figured I'd give it a shot, and I wanted to do Deemer Class's replica pocket for the longest time. And I know it uses a Clutch X in black on a Crypto Pro Diamond, but I have a black shaft, gate ice, and a white Clutch X, so this is pretty much um, similar. So I strung it up just like he does it with two black straights uh, going across. Actually, what he actually uses is the... Uh, hockey lace ones that are pretty uh, roughed up. Um, I think they're waxed, so they give him a lot, whole lot more uh, whip. Um, as far as mesh that he uses, I know he doesn't use string king. He could, but I know he probably uses throne mesh. Um, but you know, to each his own. Uh, but I know this is a setup, two straight, uh, one nylon going up top for uh, that pop. And he's a really cool outside shooter. He's probably one of my favorite players uh, on the Duke team. Um, he seems to really find that outside shot really well. Um, he's very known for that. He's very known for pretty much like being open all the time whenever he needs to be and just ripping it um, and getting off a really cool shot. Uh, he's not really like the selfish, more selfish type of dude. You know, all the kids on the Duke team are pretty uh, hands-on with the ball, I know. They quick stick, you know, and they just, you know, kind of dump it off to whoever's open and score. Which is pretty cool, you know, it's kind of like how lacrosse should be. Um, but when I first heard of this dude, Deemer Class, I was just like, wait a minute. Someone was like, oh yeah, dude, uh, this guy's, I was like, who is that, number 10? And he was like, oh, that's Deemer Class. And I was like, oh, okay. So I Googled his name, and I typed in Sophomore Class, because I thought that's what the dude was telling me, his name. I was like, you telling me to Google Sophomore's Duke Sophomore Class? I'm like, doesn't make sense. I didn't know his last name was Duke class didn't know deemer class was a name but found it out and i was like oh yeah that's that midfielder i was like that dude's cool i was like, he rips it nice so i wanted to do this for a while like i said so this 1s is working out pretty well i've uh, thrown with it in the backyard actually at first i put three straights on it but then i remembered back that i was going to do uh the deemer replica so i was like eh. i ditched the top one because it was the ball was kind of sailing uh, these are the shooters that came with the uh, pack the kit um through shrinking, uh, they're kind of like, um, uh, what is it, the ones that I showed you off on the other video the other day, the um, the acrylic uh, string, uh, string of shack versions of the uh, white shooters. They're not like the black gemmas, um, but I just decided to do it up Duke style, uh, triangle top, blue and black, um, black nylon like that. And as far as this pocket goes, I actually added some shooter locks. I found those. I don't have any left, sorry. But uh, I found out by looking at a bunch of his pitchers that basically all he does is interlocks the first three or four down not really that tight um, so I didn't really do him that tight um, and instead of doing just the stacked SIs like I do and then tying it off uh, he uses singles um, so it kind of makes it sort of like a pocket where it can just shift up and down I'll just show you as an example really quick if I can get the shaft just one-handed it just kind of goes up kind of goes down but as this thing breaks in a little bit more I think uh, it should be good I've only thrown with it for about five minutes so I really can't uh, you know judge be the complete judge it's got a pretty nice channel for 1s mesh I've heard this stuff doesn't really keep its total shape but uh, as you can see the pocket came out pretty well we got a lot of sunlight coming in the window so let me try to revert this over here so it gets a little see if it gets a little better yeah so what the pocket looks like a little 360. I you know these shooters are kind of... i got to cut those. They're getting a little too long. But the pocket's legal. Um, all the materials I used were uh, from String King, so I just decided just to put it all together. Uh, I did my bottom string the same way I tied it off. And the way that I actually strung this one was a little bit different than the normal clutch axes that I do. Um, I started off with a really tight channel going down, but uh, I realized it was too tight, and I wanted it to be able to you know, feed and throw at the same time and get off a nice pass, which sometimes you're not really all 
able to do with a really tight channeled pocket so I decided just to kind of tie it down a little bit to make it sort of baggy-ish and sort of channeled at the same time so I just did some straight up interlock, uh, straight up knots that I usually do um, as you can see you can just follow the pattern straight down it's mostly SIs and knots and then kind of near the end I just wrap it around uh, one do like a little interlock bring it down to the bottom tie it off and then bring the bottom string right back up so I don't have to really use a bottom string it's kind of easier this way so if I have to take the pocket apart and redo it um, it's actually really easy uh, to do um, so I don't have to lose that bottom string just readjust and just go along so that's pretty much it I got it on the gate ice which is really cool it doesn't it only has a logo on one side which is well, it's kind of backwards but this deck is just so light I had that hawk on this at first and I wanted to get something that would you know um, complete it to make it just like a really awesome light stick without having to grab like a Nas. But the whole thing with the Nas is that weighed weighed in at about 4.9, actually I'm sorry, 4.4, oh, 4.5 ounces. Uh, I think the advertisement is wrong, but this one actually just weighs 0.1 and a half ounces over. So it's really like playing with the Nas if you just kind of close your eyes and it really doesn't matter. But as long as you have light mesh on it and you know wax mesh will work great dmg mesh will work great on it i just like to I, I wanted to throw this on there because i promised mark down at stringking that i'd you know string it up because um, we had the idea for a long time to do up a uh, pocket so i wanted to show him uh, my version of what um mike could be added to his string it up um thing that he does with the u string to teach kids how to string pockets and whatnot but so i'll just give you another little overview and um, that's pretty much it. So and that's a Deemer class replica. Um, of course, his stick is probably going to be a little bit more heavier since he uses heavier wax mesh and a heavier stick. Well, he uses the Crypto Pro Diamond, so it's not going to be too much heavier, but uh, I'll put the head down and show you what it looks like straight up. Oh, excuse me. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. There's the head. If you guys have any questions for me, let me know. Got some mesh going out today. Sent some mesh out today and got a big order coming up tomorrow. So that's pretty much it. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, hit me up. And that's it. So hopefully you enjoy your day. And that's it. So have a good day, guys. Peace.